Today, I am back again playing more Polybridge 2, and I'm gonna build a trebuchet. I'm gonna go all out, try and make it as large as I can, and throw it the maximum length of a Polybridge 2 level, 250 meters. We'll see how we go and see how heavy of an object I can actually throw. So to start off with, we are going to need two anchor points on the very left side of the level here. That's gonna be what our trebuchet is built off of and we're going to make them we'll say eight meters apart we'll also change the background to be pine mountains because it has a lesser slope on the left here uh, and we're definitely going to need to turn on the unbreakable modifier so we will add our car we'll go with the compact car uh, and we'll even flip it rotate it 180 degrees so that there is absolutely no way it will ever be able to drive uh, and that's going to be a payload can change the mass of it later at the moment i'm going to turn it all the way down so it is as light as possible down to one polygram we're going to make our flag super tall so it's nice and easy to hit we'll go 20 meters tall to start with and then we're going to get building so a trebuchet is an ancient siege weapon that uses a large counterweight to throw objects a very far distance. And that's what we're trying to replicate today. So we have this support system that looks a bit chunky at the moment, but we're going to have a large wooden piece come down at an angle like so. And that's gonna be the arm that rotates around with our car. We're then going to build one piece out on the opposite side as well. And that is going to allow us uh, to have some counterweight. So, we now have a trebuchet arm and a car that is going to act as our payload. We then need to attach the two of them together. So we will make a small pouch for our compact car. Just a box surrounding our car like so, so that it does not move and can be swung nice and easily by our trebuchet. We'll then connect that up to the very bottom of our rotating arm. And when we add in a counterweight on this right side, that arm's gonna swing up into the air and our payload will follow it because it's attached by these cables. So what are we gonna do for our counterweight? In Polybridge, there are only two things that actually have any mass. Those are roads and joints. Reinforced roads are heavier than normal roads, so we're gonna be using them to try and maximize the density of the mass that we have so that we can get our trebuchet to rotate quite nicely. So with just nine joints worth of roads, we can see that we start swinging it, but we don't make it very far at all. So we need more mass. With a 5x5 square of reinforced roads, we should rotate faster and our car should fly up even higher. And that is indeed what we see. We'll add a little bit more weight and then we will work on our mechanism for getting our car to disengage. So with our 7x7 seven seven square of reinforced roads, we start to swing even faster, however, you can see here at the base of our structure, we are actually swinging around pretty wildly, which is not good because it means some of the force that would be applied to the rotation of this car is instead being used to wobble the tower. So we'll reinforce that some. Watch it again. You can see that we are rotating incredibly quickly and as such we should be able to get this car to fly pretty far in order to get our car to disengage we're going to add a checkpoint to it and we're going to have it so that when we hit that checkpoint our hydraulics go off and with those hydraulics we are going to have these two pieces of rope simply detach from our swinging arm thus allowing the car with its box and its ropes fly over to the right of the level we'll see first of all if we hit the checkpoint you can see, we actually need to move this checkpoint even further to the left. But now if we end up hitting the checkpoint, you can see we let go. And at the moment, we fling just straight up. But if we can get it to launch at an approximately 45 degree angle, we should get a very large amount of distance. So we'll put it even higher. We'll see if we still hit it. We do. And now when we watch it, it gets a little over halfway across the level, I would say, which is pretty good for a first attempt, but you can see that we're still not quite doing what I want. So in order to fix that, we're just gonna add even more counterweights. So with even more counterweights, we should swing even faster than we do to the point that now our car misses its checkpoint. So we'll move our checkpoint closer to the trebuchet. With our added counterweights, we now hit our, our checkpoint again and we actually make it all the way across the level to the flag. So we've now thrown a one polygram car 250 meters. 
Can we throw a heavier car? Just as far. Let's find out. We will increase the car's weight up to, let's say, 10 polygrams. And we'll see how we go now. I'm not expecting us to make it anywhere near as far, but we'll see how we go. You can see that as our car gets heavier, we're going to need more and more counterweights in order to get it to rotate as far as it was. So let's do that now. So we now have one 9x9 nine nine square and one 7x7 seven seven square, and we'll see how they go together. We still miss our checkpoint. So what if we instead have two 9x9 nine nine squares? So we're doing some testing at the moment, seeing how far we can get it across. But in order to work, we need to hit this checkpoint here, and we do. And you can see that the car goes absolutely flying, which is always a good sign. However, I think we need to add some more stability to our actual rotating piece. What if we add more supports laterally as well? Will that help out making our arm just a little bit stiffer? I don't think it quite does what I was looking for. Okay, what if we add in some more cables then? We'll have a large spire out on this side and then one again on the bottom. And then we'll just attach cables down to the very end point of our rotating arm. See if that gives us a little more stability. It looks like it might, but we still don't quite make it as far as I was hoping we would. What if we try even more reinforcement then? Just trying to make this as stiff as possible. And that seems to work. And I think it might actually help as well. So we will zoom in on our design now and actually have a look at it. And you can see that we have limited most of the uh, wobbling in our actual rotating arm, but there is now a lot more in the supports for it. So we'll see what we can do about that. And we will see how we then go. We seem to wobble a lot less. Does that translate into a car flinging further? It does! In fact, we almost travel over the flag now, but we have a trebuchet that can launch a 10 polygram car now. Let's increase that up again to 50 polygrams, which means we are going to need even more countermass and probably even more support to our design. But starting with our countermass, we will copy this section out and then we will add it like that. So we now have an even more massive counterweight. We'll see how we go. We're not quite getting enough speed from this. So it might in fact be time to add some out on these sides. But with three countermasses now, we're throwing our 50 polygram car a little over halfway, so that's good to see. We will add in a, another of these large squares. So we'll copy this, paste it up here, and then add essentially just the same supports that we have for our other piece. With four large countermasses, how far do we fling our car? It goes very far, doesn't make it all the way over to its flag. It does. By the barest of margins, we have a 50 polygram car, making it 250 meters across this level. Can we get all the way to 100? How do we go now? I don't expect much. We actually miss our checkpoint, but our car still somehow manages to make its way out of its sling. So we'll slow this all the way down so that we can see what's happening because that is absolutely insane. So our car is coming up, it's coming around and the force that it's exerting on the roads is enough to actually push it all the way out of its sling. That is fantastic. All right, we will we'll add some more supports to the sling then. Uh, make it out of reinforced roads and add some cross bracing uh, and see if it still manages to make it out now. But it is still so awesome to see. It almost makes it out, but I think that we have properly contained it for the moment. In which case, I think that it is time to add even more mass to this design.
So, with even more mass now, how do we go? You can see that it sags so much. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad for doing this. And we are still at 20% speed, but you can see just how fast it rotates. And now we really do need to have our design absolutely perfect in terms of support, because otherwise everything just sort of flails wildly. Oh wow, we're getting to the amounts of stress that our whole design just falls apart instantly. So we will add some more supports all the way along this side of the trebuchet. But we'll see how we go. Do we get a working design or do we just... No, we do now. Hit our checkpoint nicely. However, it just throws us straight up into the air. So instead what we want to do is put this checkpoint much higher so that we hit it later and this fling off horizontal direction then completely vertical and that sort of works and we now get approximately halfway oh, a little over halfway across the level let's have a closer look at this how close do we come to this section of mountain there we don't get too close which is good to see so my next thought then is what if we cut all of this out and just make it a little bit higher but then instead of ending at the very end here We'll add in another section to the end of this bridge and see how we go rotating. We rotate nicely, but our structure is no way near strong enough anymore. So we're going to get extreme, make this as large as I possibly can. You can see that we sag straight away at the beginning of the level, but I don't think that's something I can fix. I think that's just because of how heavy this whole design is. So we will instead work on the enclosure for our compact car now. How does this now go for us? But we definitely need to change our checkpoint location, which makes sense given that we made our rotation arm longer. It means our car is going to go further out. We're going to need to go even further out, but our car does fly out by itself and it looks like it makes it a little further now which is good to see making it well over halfway across the level probably closer to three quarters but first we definitely need to add more reinforcements to this structure do we now stay upright nicely uh, we still bounce around a little bit but we stay mostly together and our car does soar quite nicely as well in that case we will try and get our checkpoint working again so we'll move it even further out to the left and then we'll go again hopefully that'll work out nicely so our car does hit the checkpoint and does fling off how far across the level does it make it though uh 60 percent 75 percent maybe nowhere near the 250 meters that we are aiming for. In which case, I think it's time to expand this cube just a little bit. So something like this. Even more roads, even more mass. And that's good because we do fling it further by the looks of it. But it looks like it's almost going to make it its 250 meters. Not quite though, but it is so very very close how do we go now we do come inside our checkpoint which is good to see because it means we're getting more angular velocity but how far do we make it now we actually make it slightly less far than we did last time but I think that's okay because we do is our checkpoint and hopefully if we're hitting our checkpoint uh, we should be able to travel just a little bit further and we do hit the checkpoint and the car does go flying how far is it going to make it though i don't think it's quite going to make it the whole distance but 
that does not look bad at all. So we'll finish off the rectangle that we have here by adding in as many roads as we can. Just going all out, completely bonkers at this point. Something like this. We do definitely sag a lot we're looking very, very choppy, but we do fling our car absolutely crazy. It's a bit hard to see at the moment, but it's just here, and it looks like it's actually going to make it. Oh my goodness, we went over the flag. That is insane, but it is good enough to beat the level, so I'm going to move this flag up on that cliff, and then we'll also just delete that, in case we can also get rid of that hydraulic phase. And we might also change the world that we're in so it's a little nicer to see where we are, but it looks like whatever I change it to, we run into issues with our trebuchet falling into the level. So we'll try Tranquil Oasis. Hopefully we should be able to see the car a little nicer against this nice pink background. Given that it is a very bright blue and you can see it just here. And we've done it! We have built a trebuchet to fling a 100 polygram car over a distance of 300 meters. It's absolutely insane. We have now built a trebuchet to launch a 100 polygram car 250 plus meters across Bridge 2 level and it is absolutely glorious to see in action. It's a little janky we have our car actually fall through a road because it undergoes so much stress but it does work out nicely. You can see that as we start to travel down you still can't quite see the water but it's going to come into view soon. There's the flag, and there's the water. And we just barely make it and hit the flag about halfway up, which is absolutely amazing to see. So a few more things we'll check out. We will check out the tension view, which shows how stressed uh, each of the individual pieces of our design are, and I'm expecting this to be incredibly red, which means 100% stre uh, stressed. So we'll come all the way over and, oh my goodness, it is very, very stressed. Almost the entire structure from the very start is just bright, bright red. But we do beat the level thanks to the unbreaking modifier. We've seen the trebuchet work with unbreaking on. What if we turn it off now? One last little demonstration. If we allow each of our pieces to break, our whole design just snaps straight away. Uh, and our countermass falls straight down on top of our car uh, and causes my computer to lag out incredibly quickly and makes an absolutely insane explosion of reinforced road pieces. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow. It's taking forever just to get back to the <laughs> main screen. There we go. Oh, how cool. Alright, I'm going to save this layout as Trebuchet V2. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See ya!